Hey everybody, Weem here. I'm in Star Forge doing a, another Weem Tries video. I recently saw a video uh, from Paul Suarez Jr. actually running around in this game and I thought, man, I want to check that out. And uh, as has been the case for a bit now, if I am checking out a game and uh, or doing anything with the game, pretty much I'm recording it. Uh, well, whether I use it or not is debatable, but um, yeah, I thought I would just kind of quickly share this one with you guys. I don't intend or imagine that I'll need a whole lot of time in this to uh, give you the gist. The quick rundown of this is that it's a um, uh, inspired by a number of games, including Minecraft, believe it or not. So you, this is a sci-fi-ish game um, where you can actually place down and build blocks. You can dig down into the ground. You can chop down trees and uh, those kind of things. Um, they have a guide here for which buttons do what. Uh, I have a list of those off to the side so I don't have to keep referring to this. And uh, that's my knee down there. <laughs> so they have different camera modes here. What you'll, what you'll see is that uh, one of the other inspirations here is Halo. This is gonna look Halo-esque. And um, yeah, so like I said, uh, Minecraft for the building and everything, um, Halo for this style, it definitely has some RTS and tower defense elements in it. The Basically the point of this is to build yourself a defense, you can make uh, f you know whatever you want, you can build forts and, and uh, you know, castles, whatever you want. Anything you want to build, you can build a cabin, a house, whatever. Obviously you have some blocks to choose from, they don't have a, a whole lot of those yet and I'll show you those in a second. But, um, yeah, that's kind of the point, is to fight off the onslaught of alien creatures. Now, they have a hotkey, actually, in this game, a, a shortcut, rather, to spawn monsters. But what I found on accident was that they will spawn eventually on their own. And um, I say accidentally because um, I walked out of the room and, and from uh, uh, the other area of my house, I actually heard... Uh, chaos going on in here. There was explosions and everything, and I was like, "Is that is that my computer?" And I came walking in here, and sure enough, I was getting swarmed by things. But um, but I had some lasers down. I had some turrets down. That's some of the other stuff you'll be doing is placing down turrets and rocket launchers. And what they they have this thing called a slammer, and it's basically this twirling rod, except it's very large, and it basically smashes enemies that walk into it. So I'm going to show you all of those things and. Uh, briefly though. So let's just jump right in here. Um, we got a number of keys here. We got the uh, 1 through 0, right, uh, for your shortcuts here. And um, the number 1 is for your weapon. So this is your gun. And you can shoot it. Now this is, as the uh, menu screen said earlier, this is very early alpha. So you can fire as many bullets as you want. Um, you're not going to run out. Um, you're not going to die. You can see it says that we're level 10 on the bottom left, but um, as far as I know, that doesn't mean anything uh, it, in this version of the game. So so anyway, yeah, number one brings up your weapon here. So number two goes into what they have called the build mode, right? Pretty, uh, pretty understandable. And uh, essentially in the build mode, obviously you can place down blocks and you can destroy the blocks. And uh, what they've done is you hold the E key here and it brings up a couple options. And you've got these kind of cylinders and you've got these blocks. Now under both of these there's certain items that are available. Um, just look like kind of floating cubes. And the only difference with these cubes between these two, uh, well between the five that are available, the three here and the two here, is just textures. There's, there's actually not cylinders in here, but I would imagine they'll have different shapes. For now it's blocks though. So basically you're going to hold down the E key, you bring up this menu, you mouse over what you want, and wherever you let go of the E key, whatever you're hovering over, that's the block you're going to choose. So mm -hmm. I let go of the E key and I'll be able to place down this block. Let's kind of move out here. So I just right click and put it down. I can r continue to right click and just place blocks. So again I can go back to the menu and uh, oh, I can't remember, did I do the first or second? Let's try the second now. There we go. So you can see that's a different kind of block. Got some, got the cool lighting effects. You have the shadow and everything, and uh, you can build on top, right? If I jump in the air, you can jump pretty high. You can uh, do some stacking, make some kind of tower. So you can see there's a whole lot you could do. I don't know how far up you can build. I may goof around with that here at the end of the video. See just how high we can go, but um, that gives you an idea for what you can do here. And again, I can go over to the cylinder here choose a different block and place it down. 
So this this puts down a crate with some kind of um, organic, whether it's like branches or something around it. Might even be going for like a barbed wire look. I'm not sure exactly. Um, the other one there is actually a crate similar to this with nothing, just the wood paneling. And then the third one is actually a larger crate. So, so anyway, that's kind of what you have to work with at this point of the game. So let me show you some digging. That's the three key. You hit the hit the number three and we go into a dig mode and basically you can right or left click and kind of sink the terrain down and you can go down there pretty deep it actually does go into kind of a, uh, a dirt like texture down there ways but it's kind of uh, there you go if I hop down in there it's kind of a pain to get out so I think we'll just leave it at that for now as you can see that 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 put a big area. You just, I just dropped a hole really quick right there. So you can pretty quickly make various canyons and pits and things. You can go around your uh, your structure and set up a moat type thing. You can also hold shift to sprint. I should be doing that. It's a lot faster. So yeah, we can lower this down. There's no water or anything yet. Um, I would imagine that there will be some kind of manipulation of water whether you can actually pour water down or if there is water and you can manipulate it by digging around earth around it I'm not sure I haven't looked a whole lot into that to see what they have coming in the future but um, yeah pretty straightforward so let's see let's keep going here we got the uh, chop tree mode I'll show you that and then we kind of get into placing some uh, turrets so the number four key goes into the tree chopping mode. I'm going to look up here and hold down the left click. It made this little uh, indent here as if I'd chopped it, and the tree is going to fall down. It's actually a pretty cool effect. Crunch. Now, right now, that's about all you can do, and that's actually kind of cool. I didn't. I've done. I've chopped a few trees down, and they've never rolled away like that. So they do seem to fall differently. You can go into this chop mode, and you'll see this kind of dust fly out the side there. There you go. But um, that's pretty much all that happens there. I can't really do anything beyond that. So I would imagine at some point uh, you'll be gathering these materials, and they'll be what you use to make some of these blocks. At least that's my assumption. Is you won't just be able to build as as much of this as you want. I'm assuming there's a there's a reason to gather the resources. So. So anyway, yeah, let's place some turrets down because at any moment here I could start getting some creatures coming in after me. So basically the 5, 6, 7, and 8 keys place down some turrets. The first two uh, being uh, ranged attack weapons here. So we got the uh, the 5 is the laser there, uh, which I, had, I was kind of far away from. Let me get over here. <laughs> There you go. So that's a laser. Basically, wherever I'm pointing, if I hit five, that's where a laser gets put down. So let's put one over here. Okay, they're firing at something now. Cool thing is they appear to turn and face what they're firing at. Oh, there's a slug running at me. Woo, he's quick. Down he goes. Okay, so that's the laser turret. We do have a rocket launcher. Let's place one of those down. They're a little bit bigger. Oh, that was the wrong one. I need to hit six here. So, number six. There we go. Get a rocket launcher going there. And let's put some slammers down. These are a little hard to explain what they are, so it's best to just kind of show you. That shoved me out of the way. But yeah, that twirls around uh, like crazy, and enemies that get close to it, they get hit. Let's get in here and see what happens. You gonna spin? There we go. Ugh. Knocked me out of the way. Now, uh, that's a horizontal one. They do have a vertical one. Let me place one of those. So you can get something like that set up. Nope, not that one. I'm hitting the wrong one here. Let's see. Seven, so let's throw this one here. There we go. It's like it twirls around in that direction. That's kind of cool. You could set up various pathways uh, into your base um, as traps. Uh, kind of funnel enemies into these things. So you got lasers shooting down the pathway at them and they've kind of got to get through those things. Um, not seeing anything in the way of doors yet, but again, this is an early alpha, so there really is, uh, as I showed, there's only the five blocks to choose from right now and these turrets. And uh, finally, one last thing you can place here 
uh, is the spotlight. So I'm going to run over here and just put one out in the open. And sprint over here. There we go. And that's what a spotlight looks like. They're pretty big. And you actually do cast a shadow in these. And uh, as far as I can tell, there's no day-night yet. Um, but you can imagine, at night, these things can be pretty awesome. Pretty cool. I like the idea of these doing damage, too. I don't know if that'll ever be the case, but I can imagine some, like, burning lights, for example. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Okay, so basically I've given you the very quick, the very quick run-through of the things you can place. Um, I, as I explained, you can sh uh, hold shift to sprint, you can jump pretty good, pretty good distances. Um, you can do a double jump off a wall, apparently, if you jump and jump again. But, um, yeah, let's let's spawn some mobs real quick. We're actually going to run, run over to here. So far, from what I've seen, the mobs consist of spiders and slugs, so... Let's hit zero. I'm not sure where they spawn exactly. It just picks a point, I guess. So you can see the laser going nuts. Got a slug running at me. Down he goes. Oh, there goes a the missile. It was a little odd looking. Skimming along the ground, but... It's early alpha. What can you do? Oh, something smacked me. Get off of me! No. I'm getting dragged, I think. No, I'm not getting dragged. My, uh... I get stuck being... moving backwards, which I think happened to Paul Soros. If you watch his video, he ends up going backwards, and, uh... Anyway, some kind of little bug there. But yeah, when you spawn mobs, it seems to spawn, um three or five or something like that. I have spammed it. The game right now is um, not running all that well for me, which I usually don't have a problem with, so this, it's probably just that this is early alpha and the, I'm just getting a really low frame rate and things kind of drag when I spawn mobs. I have tried sp um, spawning a number of times, just kind of spamming the zero key, and um, things got very slow. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> but uh, again, what do you expect? It's early. So yeah, uh, let's see here. One of the things I did find um, kind of fun, kind of an interesting effect, was to spawn mobs and sprint backwards while they chase me and shoot at them. So I'm going to attempt that, and I think I'm going to I'm going to spawn a few. Uh, I'm going to click it a few times, and hopefully it doesn't lag out too bad for me. We'll see though. They seem to like to come from the woods, so I'm going to move in here a bit. All right, let's try this. Let's hit this uh, three times. One, two, three. So you can see them there. Here they come. And wow, he's fast. So I'm going to sprint back. Oops, I ran into my slammer. Strafing while sprinting here. Looks like we cleared everything. Although they're still firing at something. Let's go check it out. Oh, I heard some creature just die. Oh, there's a spider. Fell down. Is that a spider? Alive? That one's still alive? There it goes. This one's alive and not wanting to attack me. Can I look at it up close? Okay, the slug has just got his animation going, but appears to be dead. Yeah, let's take a closer look at these guys. I actually haven't had a chance to. I think I can crouch. Control crouches. Ooh, those are ugly looking things. Let's check out the spider. Creepy. I am not a fan of spiders. If you watch my Minecraft videos, you definitely know I don't like spiders. So anyway, these guys appear to have died. Is that another one coming at me? Oh, 
Okay, they're all dead. Their animation's stuck. That's okay, though. We understand. So let's try one more thing. I had a little something I was goofing around with earlier, and I want to see if I can do it again. Now, one of the cool things about this, too, just for fun, they even say it in their menu, but this is in just for fun, is you can go into slow motion. Just hold your right mouse button, and it goes into a slow motion. So if I turn this right, I should be able to show the screen here. To your dome. <laughs> okay. Now, let's have some fun with the slow-mo and a slammer. Not this one. I want the vertical guy. Squeeze around here. Squeeze me. Come up here. Alrighty. There we go. Slow motion. This is going to be painful. Let's jump. Can I jump? Is it going to register it? Oh boy, here we go. Pain. Ooh! You can fire in the air too. Oh, so pretty. Get to see my final moments. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Wait, 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 wait! Bonus footage time! Bonus! Man, I need some bonus music. I need a bonus footage intro music. That would be awesome. So, yes, I want to stack blocks. Let's do some block stacking and see just how high we can go. Alright, so we can do some Minecraft-esque jumping and stacking here. Let's see how far we can take this. Whoa. Whoops. No, no! Ugh. That's pretty high. Let's do one next to it, so... We can get a little less fail, maybe. Oops, I'm right on the edge. Let's try to move to the middle of this block here. Try to. Trying to see if double tap. It looks like if I quickly double tap it, it'll do a, a better jump. Let me see. Single jump? Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's about the same. The menu says you can do a wall jump. And I assume, uh, from what I saw in playing around, that seemed like it worked off of the side of a wall. So, hmm, is this as high as I can go? No? No, it is not as high as I can go. Let's keep going. It does seem to be getting diff more and more difficult to jump higher. Whoa! 
was painful. Am I falling? I can't tell. Oh, yes. Okay, I smashed myself against the ceiling, I think. <laughs> and ran into a slammer. Awesome. Anyway, there you go. That's that's pretty tall. Dang. It's not bad. Yeah, it didn't like me going any higher than that. But that's that's pretty good. Anyway, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the bonus footage of me smashing into the ceiling of this place. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time.